<clears throat> my first question is this. 2011 has been called the year of the war on women. Earlier this year, House Republicans and a handful of Democrats voted against the 1970 National Family Planning Act called Title X, um, including our own incumbent. Uh, what are your positions on low or no cost family planning, i.e. birth control, uh, and for women's health care in the future? To this question and, and the question asked earlier about democratic values, you know, we have a, a congressman who uh, voted for the Patriot Act and, and warrantless wiretapping. We have a congressman who in 1999 voted to deregulate the banks and the financial institutions, which brought us to where we are today. And at the top of the heap, we have, uh, in, in terms of what I think are undemocratic or non-democratic party values, we have a congressman who voted to defund Planned Parenthood. And regardless of your opinion on abortion, on family planning, what this effectively meant to low and moderate income women is that they had less or no access to screenings for cancers, including ovarian cancer and breast cancer, if Planned Parenthood had been defunded. In many cases, that is the last and best opportunity for them to receive this much needed uh, health care. And so I think that's unconscionable. I think it's undemocratic. And it's something that I'm ashamed of from our congressman. You should focus on uh, learning the system and not worry about uh, taking on a load for me because I can speak for myself. I have a track record that I'm proud of. In fact, uh, I have an 88% uh, favorability ratio with the human rights campaign. I don't always vote 100% uh, uh, on probably every issue as, as a 15 year uh, incumbent in, in Congress. There are often times that, that uh, we are asked to weigh in for uh, uh, purposes of getting something to the to the uh, conference committee, uh, but those are those are things that that we do uh, as members uh, for our leadership. Now, I have two daughters, and and more than that, as I travel around the world and talk to women serving in our armed forces, they're very much concerned about the kinds of issues that Dr. Stout, Stout uh, mentioned here. Uh, so, although personally, I, personally I'm, a, I'm a Catholic and, I, and I'm pro-life, I have uh, a track record of not voting 100% on either issue. In fact, if you will check with Planned Parenthood, my uh, voting record uh, uh, on their issues is almost 70%. So, uh, uh, that's, that's part of what you have to do as a, as a member of Congress, do the kinds of things uh, uh, that uh, represent your community, represent the democratic uh, values, uh, and more than that is uh, stand up uh, and be part of the debate on those kinds of issues, which which I have been uh, as a as a member of Congress. The um, the issue of let me just speak briefly. The issue of unions this year in particular, we heard uh, uh, and we saw. Uh, the impact when people attack unions and vote against uh, collective bargaining. Uh, we saw that play out and we saw uh, consequences of that uh, in the election. We're all held accountable. And uh, as an incumbent, I can't straddle the fence like my opponents can. I can't say I, voted, I would have voted against the Budget Act and then weeks later say I uh, now want to vote for it. I can't say that my number one priority is this, but now, uh, after being in the campaign, it turns to veterans and the economy and all of those kinds of things. I have the track record. Uh, I am proud to defend my track record on everything. But most of all, let me just tell you again, uh, as a senior member of both the Armed Services Committee, which uh, one aspires to get on, uh, and the Veterans Committee, which is apparently today the, the priority of the other uh, opponent. Uh, I'm there for I'm making an actual difference. And uh, it's important as we go into the next Congress and we face the kinds of potential cutbacks that will affect uh, our Congress. Thank you.